welcome to another episode of the women's series on the COVID-19 pandemic. On today's episode, we look at ways to live intentionally as we embrace the developments around the pandemic and ease into this new normal that has become our daily life. First, let me share with you a quote by Steve Jobs my brother shared with me some years ago. It says, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. I personally believe you have to know who you are and what you want to be and vigorously pursue that. It's not about pleasing everyone. It's not about being loved. It's about accomplishing goals and living the life you believe is best for you. Think about the people who lead the most successful companies in the world, the most successful ventures, communities, organizations, and themes, and how they usually have at least some controversy surrounding them and or a reasonable amount of people that dislike them and make a life out of criticizing them. This is not because they are unwise and not usually because they are overtly doing wrong. It's because they have accomplished something that has placed the attention of others on them and as such their moves are more widely scrutinized. Don't fall into the trap of operating on everyone's impulse. Listening is okay. But doing what everyone wants is simply unhealthy. Execute the good feedback and follow your vision. So here are five ways on how to live intentionally. Small actions you have the power to do. As most times when you look back, you see it was the small but consistent actions that made the most significant impact. It's time to bring out that your pen and paper. So we move to number one. Consider an ideal day. If you were able to design your perfect day from beginning to end, what would it look like? Imagine a productive, meaningful way you might want to spend your time and write it down now. Now, now, just write it down. Would you be working on projects, spending your time with loved ones and friends, or so on? After writing, take note of the things that are included and more importantly, what wasn't included. We move to number two. Create a foundation of small daily actions. Once you have some ideas for your ideal day, create some quick and easy actions that reflect that ideal. While it may sound counterintuitive, the smaller the action, the better. Whether it's one minute of meditation, slow breathing, one push-up, or reading a few pages of a book, consistent action is more important than immediate results. We move to number three. Express gratitude every day. Whether it's writing down three or five things you would, you're grateful for in your notebook, I personally try to achieve this. Or sending a text to a friend or a letter to a family member. Or even the hidden blessings of this COVID-19 period, such as spending more time with your family. The break from the discomfort of traffic. I know, you know, right? Getting comfortable with your natural look. You understand what I mean? <laughs> Expressing gratitude simply makes you happier. By acting on it daily, you begin to establish an attitude of abundance and gratitude. So we move to number four. This sounds very funny. Make your bed every morning. I'm tempted to say or night, but while it may seem a bit strange, making your bed every morning can lead to more success throughout the day. This is traditionally known as a keystone habit done first thing in the morning and can trigger other successful habits to come after it. By making the bed every day after waking up, you establish an early win and a pattern of success. And finally, number five, pause and breathe. Before every action you take, there is a moment. Let me take that again. Before every action you take, there is a moment. In that moment, you have the opportunity to pause and process whether the action you're about to take is well aligned with your ideals. A two-second pause can be the difference between living in alignment or bouncing from impulse to impulse. So before you take any action, that action you are about to take right now, please pause and breathe. And we have a bonus point. Design a simple life. Start here. Start now. 
you can design a life of less and more. More of what you love, less of what you don't. It's a process and we are actually on a need together, that's the truth. So don't fret, just start here, start now. Take it one day at a time, as each day is just as important as the next in creating the life we imagine for ourselves. While your day may seem small, years later, you find that progress was made one small day at a time. After all, how we spend our days is eventually how we spend our lives. And that brings us to the end of yet another episode of the Women's Series. I sincerely hope this has inspired you to start being intentional about living today and not just existing as we ease into this normal that has become our daily life. If you have any questions, contributions, comments, or you'd like to share your experience with us, kindly send an email to programs at poshareng.com or news at poshareng.com. Finally, don't forget to tune in at the same time next week for another episode of the Women's Series. Thank you so much for watching. Do have a lovely day and please keep staying safe.